Hi guys, I'm going to do a quick video on my gasifier, my first gasifier. Yeah, and if I get enough response, I'm going to explain exactly how I did it. I haven't actually used this gasifier, but uh, this is the 55 gallon drum. Uh, I've just poured concrete into the drum. I think the reason is to prevent the toxic uh, acid from running a hole through the drum. That's my door here for the ashes. Now this is the, they call it the burn chamber. I have a six inch uh, steel tube. That's the cover of the drum. And uh, this port here that you see in white goes straight down to the burn chamber fire zone just in case I need more air. Just capped off with a half inch uh, cap and uh, I cut a hole around this cover and uh, sealed the opening with a couple of brackets. This is the gas that comes right, comes right down over here to cool it down. Comes down yeah. two condensation pots where the uh, the creosote and everything else, the tar gets deposited, and you can unscrew it. Like what Flash USA one zero zero one said, uh, I basically followed a lot of his uh, instructions. And as you go right up, that's my blower 24 volt DC blower and I do have a motor speed controller that I can connect up and the blower goes way up and that's where the chimney is and I'm going to test it tonight to make sure that there's going to be a blue flame before I try and connect it to the uh, to one of the engines to start it but uh, let me go to the ash hopper and finally I'm going to show you my shaker. The shaker is going to be used to remove the ashes in this totally sealed drum. Now I figured uh, I didn't want to spend the time and trouble to make a shaker like uh, what the rest of the YouTubers did. So basically what I did was I connected a wire rod. You can see it right over here way up to the top of the drum and on the, the other side of the top there's a coupling and I drilled a hole through the, the nut as you can see it so basically I can unscrew it and I can just pull it up and down and shake the shaker loose of all the ashes Like I said, I haven't used this yet, but uh, this is kind of the first phase of my project. Once it works, I'm going to use a, uh, a smaller metal can and create a filter to filter off all the excess uh, moisture and um, hazardous gases that is unproductive. But here it is. Uh, the first video of my gasifier, I will explain to you exactly uh, what each uh, part you is used for and uh, we will find out. Ultimately my goal is to uh, burn wood chips that uh, I have a ton all around me but uh, right now I'm just going to use uh, pallets. Well, this has been a very interesting project. Uh, I think the biggest thing is you got to be patient and uh, it takes time to look for these parts so that was the biggest challenge okay uh, signing out i'm gonna talk to you again all right guys this is my uh, gasifier looks like i'm producing some flame over here finally i got it to work it took a while for me to get this flame going uh, doesn't look like it's a pretty nice flame at all. Looks like it's a red flame. 
I'm gonna be uh, gonna do this in the evening where we can see the frame much better. Uh, I'm gonna have to create a couple of uh, filters in the line to remove the free or so and the tar as you can see uh, there's a build up of tar coming up here it's a pretty windy day here I don't know if my flame is still going on uh, it does look like it's going pretty strong here uh, this is my burn chamber it's a 6 inch uh, diameter pipe let's see if we can see down the uh, tube there's not a whole lot going on in here these are just wood pellets and a couple of uh, wood pieces over here. But basically, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Okay, this is the this gas fire. Pretty pretty looks like here. there's a flame being produced right now. Doesn't look like it's a blue flame. It looks like it's a red flame. Don't know whether you can see it. But I'm going <clears> to <throat> put a newspaper over it. And uh, you should see it burning right up here uh, there you go so we do know that there is a flame going out it's just that you don't see it because of the sunlight but we're getting a pretty decent flame going on over here and let me show you the view uh, nozzle uh, I don't know whether you can see it but uh, it's burning pretty well. Let's see if uh, the flame would change as I increase the fan speed. Yeah, I maxed out on the fan speed. And uh, the wind isn't blowing it out. Uh, it's burning pretty good, actually. Let me lower the fan speed and see what happens here. Okay guys, here, uh, this is the gasifier again. Uh, I've been running this thing for the past 20 minutes. And the flame is still going pretty good. Let me show you the fire tube here. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. Uh, I just added additional pellets. But eventually I'm going to use uh, wood. I'm going to take a couple of temperature readings over here. And uh, let's see what we see over here. This is the tube is showing about 85 degrees. Coming down to the tube here, it's about 56 degrees. Tube coming through to the fire, it's about 58 degrees. And uh, the barrel itself. 126 degrees coming out of the uh, barrel it's about 114 117 degrees so it looks like as you go down the tube is all made of steel the temperature starts to be reducing uh, this is the car container I have another car container over here I didn't bother to uh, put a glass, uh, this is basically just a clean out over here, I don't know whether you can see the clean out, but uh, the neat thing about this gasifier, I designed it so that it's portable, uh, you can see the union joint over here, I could basically remove the whole pipe and move this wherever I want it to go, I'm actually building a uh, a cart where I can put this gasifier and roll it to wherever I need it to roll. So uh, for now, uh, I'm gonna hang up here and uh, come back to you again shortly. Thanks.